Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobelman. In today's video, I want to talk about VPN. I will show you how to troubleshoot VPN as somebody who does help desk or tech support for a company. This is going to be very easy to follow and I'm going to specifically tell you on how to do this specifically. I'm not going to go into details about VPN as in like a class, but I will show you how to exactly how to troubleshoot it so that way you can handle those phone calls easily. All right, let's have a look. Friends, if you like my videos, please take one second to click the like button. It really makes a big difference for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. As somebody who might be working help desk or just tech support for a company, you'll have people who work remotely. And nowadays we have a lot of people working from home. So in order for them to actually be able to work, now they have to connect to the company's network. But now they can't work because they're not on the company's network. They're not physically there at the office. So they have to use VPN software to connect directly and attach themselves to the network of the company. This is why they use VPN software to do so. Now, what I have up right now is just a home user VPN that anybody can use. Not to be confused with a business VPN. This is the reason I have it up. This is going to be totally different. This home one that you can go to google.com and download free VPN, all it does is just hide your location so that way it looks like you're connected to the internet from some other country. That's all it does. It's completely different from business VPN in the sense of access to, to the resources that you need to work as somebody who works for a company. All right. So this is a sample of regular free VPN that regular people use, not workers. So let me show you. Here's the list of servers that they pick. So if they, for example, run this and they, for example, click Brazil, suddenly now they're going to look like they're connected to the internet from Brazil. So they're basically trying to hide their location. This is not the same thing as a business VPN. All right, that being said, let's look at a business VPN, how it kind of looks like. When it comes to business VPN, you typically get something similar to this. You launch the application and you get a similar pop-up to this. And it asks you for your username, your password, and a second password. So what is this second password? We know this is pretty straightforward. The username is probably going to be your network login or your domain login ID. It's going to be the same thing as what they use when they're at the office. So it's going to be the exact same thing most of the time. It's going to be the exact same thing as what they use at the office. Their username is going to be exact same thing. I'm sorry for repeating that. I just want to make sure that you know this. And the password is going to be the same thing as they use for the office when they log into their computer. Second password, however, is different. This is usually an RSA token. So what is RSA token? RSA token is a one-time password that is always randomized. I think it usually lasts 60 seconds once you get that one-time password, and then it allows you to log in. You may have seen this with some websites. Some websites use one-time passwords to access your different types of accounts. It's very similar to that. So let's concentrate on this second password part of it first. This is kind of what it looks like. This is an old school way of getting the site that one time password. It's a uh, token that is gen randomly generated. So basically what happens is you press a button, for example, like here or there, and it generates a random number that you use as the second password. A lot of times these are either hardware tokens. This is what they are. These are hardware tokens, but there are also software tokens. Let me just kind of scroll down to show you that. You can get a software token that kind of looks like this. Here it is, this one here where it says VPN token. This is something that's installed on their computer as well. So they'll have an icon on their computer with the VPN software. So the VPN software is going to be separate, and now, but they have to launch this VPN token to get this random code to use as part of their login, login as the second password. It might be the way they put in the password, the second password for the VPN token might be slightly different, varying from VPN software to another, but 
in the nutshell they're going to need that VPN token or RSA token if you will in order to get that second password so they can log in and access the VPN or the network that they're trying to connect to. You can also have a mobile version of that so you can have a mobile phone I don't know if I have an example of that here but you can install an app on your some companies have an option of installing app on your phone that generates this random token so that's the first thing to be concerned about when it comes to connecting through VPN when it comes to customer connecting to the VPN. so this is the main thing that you see when it comes to VPN uh, with help desk when people call in or contact the help desk there most of the time they're gonna say I can't connect to the VPN the main thing to learn when you work for some company is to learn how they are connecting that's the main thing now let's move on to other things let's look at a VPN servers and how they are different from uh, how they are different from let me see here from regular VPNs this is kind of what it's going to look like for somebody for example working in the United States when they will launch their VPN software they may get a list of servers that kind of look like this and they're all going to be in US and all of these are most likely the servers for the exact same company so this is all the same network they're all on the same network they're just different location this is very normal when they are launch their VPN software they will see a bunch of different servers and they may choose to select one of these the reason it, you want to know about this is because sometimes some of these servers will be down it happens sometimes there will be way too many people trying to connect for example to the same one let's look at the let's look at the capacities here for example you can see that the Los Angeles one is the very first one so people automatically tend to click on the very first server available and you can see that in this example there's 13 percent capacity already meaning that it has the most well this one has a lot too 15 percent but people a lot of times tend to pick the very first uh, VPN server for their company either way if they're having trouble suddenly connecting to for example Los Angeles here just ask them to connect to Miami New York San Jose or Seattle so that's one other thing to kind of keep in mind when it comes to connection issues now the other thing uh, that is very common when it comes to VPN connection is that software is simply not there so you have to have a, a way to uh, reinstall software to reinstall VPN software for the user and a lot of times what happens is a company will set up a website that user can log into before they are connected to VPN so for example what happens is they would get a link they would type in that link whatever that may be get my VPN software dot com for example this is not I don't even know if this is a real website or not but this is kind of what would happen they would get a link and keep in mind they're they're still there at this time they're not connected their problem is they cannot connect to VPN and they don't have software either so they, what happens usually is they will have a link that they go to and once they go to that link they can download the software and install it so you may have to help them install that software as well if they need admin privileges this and that that's just a basic troubleshooting when it comes to installing software but keep that in mind if they don't have it there has to be a way to get that VPN software installed onto their computer before they're connected to the VPN you, you see what I'm saying there has to be an external access or a way to initiate the VPN software installation so that way they can afterwards connect to the VPN and have all the resources available to them afterwards um, so they can just get back to work and start working all right guys I believe this covers the VPN uh, troubleshooting when it comes to help desk or general tech support let me know if you've encountered anything else that might be related to VPN I think I covered kind of the most common issues when it comes to VPN let me know in the comments if there is anything that I've missed I'd be interesting to hear different scenarios different options but 
keep in mind there are many many different ways of initiating VPN companies a lot of times have their own proprietary software you know different prerequisites meaning they may have a different uh, security so some companies as far as I know may not even require a second password or RSA token which is kind of silly but you do see that with smaller companies uh, that may necessarily have the manpower to set all this up and you know make do the maintenance on it and keep up with all of that stuff so it's going to be it's going to vary a little bit but in general what i've explained to you is exactly the main things there there are exactly the the main things to be concerned about and to learn when it comes to troubleshooting vpn connections so with this knowledge you can literally go, for example, to an interview for a help desk. And when they ask you about the VPN, you can explain to them how VPN works in this type of sense. Again, it's totally different from VPN that you download from the internet to hide your location. It's completely different. It, it works the same way when it comes to connections, but it's not the same function because here you are just hiding your identity from the rest of the internet while VPN for a business allows you connect, allows you to connect to the company's network. So that way you have access to all of those resources. So that way you can work. So you can get back to work. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, please share this with your friends. And if you have any questions or comments, I would like to see them as well. Thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.